women, women supporting women, working towards a shared goal. Firm believers that no matter who we are in life, inspiring and empowering women is a must. The more we feel empowered, engaged, and informed, the better we can create a huge impact globally. It is not just about us, but enabling future generations to play a role in the world as leaders. That's why we are here for you. That's Empowering Young Women Project. Hi everybody, um, I'm sure that uh, some of you recognise me from my two trips to St Martin's. I'm Sarah Hernandez and I am very, very happy to be part of uh, a group of women who have been brought together, uh, who, who our common goal is, is basically to create a sense of, of togetherness, women supporting women, uh, especially to help to empower uh, young women, young women such as yourselves, uh, young black African women. We can see that although we have uh, many differences, we also have many similarities. Um, I feel honored to be able to share a story, my story. I am a normal, uh, or was a normal young girl, uh, nothing special about me whatsoever. Um, I grew up uh, as an only child. Uh, my parents were also older when they, they had me, which kind of made the way that our, our life uh, played out to be slightly different because well, by default we were already different. We all have our pasts. We all have had so far the experiences we have had, and they have made us the person that we are now in this moment. If I go back to when I was your age, I think I would have liked very much to have somebody who could maybe say to me, it's okay, or, we're not perfect. Uh, perfection doesn't exist. It's it's a lie. There is no perfection. We are, we are who we are, and we live with ourselves. I would have liked somebody to tell me I understand, maybe, or someone who could understand my situation. Uh, I would have liked somebody who could have maybe given me some empathy and some understanding and potentially give me some support and advice. Uh, one of the things I think I missed as, as a younger person, your, your age and maybe a few years younger, was uh, somebody who could give me good advice. It's taken me a long time and it's taken a long journey, I like to call it my journey, uh, to, to get to a point where I'm comfortable talking about it and I don't feel bad about the experiences I've had because ultimately they've made me the person I am today. Perfect. 
um, I'm happy with myself and that is not as easy as as it sounds. Being happy with yourself is is really difficult I think um, and the road, the journey to, to, to finding inner peace and finding a part, a point in your life where you're comfortable with yourself is can be shorter or longer. I think it just depends on the person. So a couple of years passed, I realized that I needed to probably have some sort of plan. I needed to take control a bit more of my life. My first step of taking control was to become independent, to find a job, um, which isn't always easy, but I knew it was the first step for me. It was the first thing I had to do in order to get to where I wanted to be. The, you know, when you set a plan or, or you start your journey, it's not just one big constant um, movement. You have to take small steps. Uh, and, and in order to do that, you do have to sort of make these plans. And, and it sounds all like it could be very complex, but once you start to take control of your life, you do start to feel a bit better about yourself. And uh, being able to influence the people that you have around you, uh, the circumstances that you're in, uh, the things that you can and can't do, when, once you start to have some influence over those, you it does have a very positive effect on you and I think for me I started to discover more about myself because for once I was in control and I didn't feel that what was going on around me was so crazy uh, and if it was crazy then it was my own fault anyway. Uh, I probably lived a very normal life, I don't think there was anything special about me whatsoever uh, and I worked hard but I did continue to study, I paid for my own education and I tried to just improve myself, um, little by little. I couldn't do it all at once. I certainly couldn't work and go to university full time. So I did a lot of uh, sort of courses and evening classes and getting education, getting getting more qualifications, but little by little. Um, I think being determined is very important. You will hear along the way Many people will tell you why you can't do something, why you shouldn't do something, and and how do they know? They don't know what you're thinking, they don't know what your motives are necessarily, they really don't know how you feel. So having enough confidence in yourself and, and being able to make some changes and take control are great foundations for your journey. Um, I felt more able to step out of my comfort zone and I started to feel more confident about myself and actually feel better about myself. When we think about making a plan, we think about writing lists uh, on pieces of paper potentially. Um, but Really, when you're, when you're trying to set yourself goals and, and making a plan, you have to decide exactly where you feel you want to be, or at least decide where you don't want to be. So if you're living in an area and you don't want to live there, then the plan is to move away from that, that area. If you're in a situation or in a job that you don't enjoy, well, then the start of your journey and your, pl your plan is to, to find another job. Um, sometimes we don't always know. I mean, there were many times where I didn't know what I wanted, but I knew I didn't want what I, what I had at, at the time. So I think continuing to improve is something that comes through trying to make change. Uh, and, and anything that we try and change is, it is positive. I mean, for us, it should be positive. If you're deciding that you're going to make a change, then normally these changes are for the better. <laughs> making a plan and making a decision is, the, is one part of, of making the change. The change comes over time, and, and sometimes you have to invest a, a lot of time and, 
a lot of energy uh, effort into making it a reality but who says we can't do that um, I think we we get we become conditioned to oh I can't do that or oh I don't know how to do that and, and it's very easy to fall into the trap of staying put because you don't know how but you can find out it, it can be very small steps that you take and it might be that you have to be very determined um, we call it being sort of thick-skinned when you say you're thick-skinned it's like you can maybe get many rejections listen to a lot of people telling you, you can't do something but that doesn't mean that they're right and that you're wrong um, it, it, you know, I'm sure that a lot of those very successful people in the world today and people in the film industry and movie stars have been models. Um, I'm trying to think of clear examples where people could be told you're not good enough, you can't do that, you don't look right, you don't sound right, uh, you don't walk properly. It could be anything, but if that individual decides to say, well, no, I do, I do. I do walk okay, I can do this, I am going to try, it's not going to beat me. Who, who, who says they can't succeed? Who? That's the thing. Who says it can't happen? You. You have to decide if you're going to accept what other people tell you over what you believe. Feeling self-value, feeling that you have a structure and even if you're not there yet, but feeling that you have a plan and that you're taking positive steps helps you. Um, it definitely helped me uh, to make the first sort of steps and make those positive changes and, and, and create a plan. If I had not have done that, nothing would have changed because the truth is life is not easy. Life is not always nice to you. People aren't always nice to you. Your situations aren't always perfect. So if you want to make a change, then you have to go and make that change. But if you don't give up and you persist and you're smart and that you are determined, there's nothing that can stop you. basis is having a goal, having a plan, um, feeling that you are strong enough, even if you have to take the smallest of steps, eventually small steps put together become bigger steps and bigger steps take you forward. It doesn't matter if you don't feel the strongest person in the world at the beginning. Do small things, but do them for yourself. Make changes, don't give up. Be clear with yourself, be honest. Allow yourself to be imperfect. No one is perfect, I keep saying it, but nobody is perfect. Encourage situations that are positive for you. Don't be afraid to make changes. Don't let people tell you what you're able to do, what you're capable of. Only you know that. Deep down, you know what you can do. And deep down, you will be the most disappointed person if you don't try. Except that failure doesn't need to be always a bad thing. We learn from our mistakes. Making a mistake is a necessary process, it's necessary. It's necessary, we learn and we improve. If we never made a mistake, we wouldn't do half of the things that we do as a result of making those mistakes. Um, try to have people in your life that allow you to talk, that can support you, that give you understanding, and also remember that there are people 
that care. If I could choose to have had a conversation when I was your age, it would have been with somebody who I felt cared, somebody who I felt understood something of my life, someone who I felt and respected enough that I could listen to them and that they could give me some good advice. That was probably one of the things that I would have changed. I missed that. It would have made some difference to the way I approached things when I was younger. That person exists. Um, it might be we find that person later in life. It might be that, that we already have that person in our lives and we've just not talked to them yet. But that was something very important for me, I think, as, a, as I was growing up, that I realised having a good person and a good influence in my life was very important. Um, please don't give up. Please remember that having a plan and following a path, however slowly you go along it, you're still on it and nothing needs to stop you. People get what they want because they fight for it. And people are successful because they are able to fight for it and that they believe in themselves. So remember those things. And if you don't give up, you will always see some benefits. So I'm sending you much love. It's been a real honor to be able to talk to you. Thank you so much for spending the time uh, listening. Um, I really do hope that some of the things that I've shared today have been useful. Um, sending you my love. Bye.